Hey guys, Cubby here with my comic reviews for this week. First up, I got to read Threshold Presents The Hunted, number one, by DC. It's actually a really cool space-themed book. They're going to be doing a lot of space-centric stories. They have a huge universe that they've, since they restarted, they haven't really you know, gone, on, gone too far into. They mainly, you know, if you're reading Green Lantern and stuff like that, it's, it stayed the course because they did a bunch of stuff earlier. Now it's... This is all the other random B-list characters, C-list characters, throwing them together, putting them into new situations, and eh, it's okay. It's, it's a cheesy romp, you know, space romp of a comic book. It's a total ripoff of uh, The Running Man, which is kind of cool. I mean, it, they do it in, in its own way, but just the, the, the talking, the conversations, the, the action of it, it seemed a little weird and clunky, and the artwork... At certain points, it looked awesome. There was these great shots, these great people that are awesomely detailed in the foreground. In the background, there's still awesome, cool details. And then you go through and like the action pages where you would probably want a little more refinement in the, in the, in the panels, not so much. And it's a little weird. And it just reminded me of like all the bad stuff in comics that I don't like. Not to say that it was a bad story, a bad read. It just, eh. The, you're, you're doing a cool space story and you're doing your characters like, like, old school retro future stuff like what people in the 90s would have thought was cool and awesome futuristic looking eh not my cup of tea but whatevs uh if you like it that's you you live your life let your freak flag fly anyways uh that was the first part the second part the larflees backup story holy crap larflees is such an awesome character and they do some messed up stuff to him and of course he's gonna get pissed off and it's cool you get to see him really like rage out it's really really fun book or a fun little story i can't wait to see what they do with that and i'm really excited for that so i would definitely recommend it for the second part which i'm going to give four out of five nerd skulls first story i'm going to give two and a half it was a good effort it was a good story to read entertaining but not my thing so check it out guys